This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to learn how to fix the MTK custom shelf height bug. I love using the MTK custom shelf, but I hate how it partially resets every time you restart Maya. I've got a fix for this now, so let's get into it. If you're not familiar with the MTK custom shelf, it's really useful. It is a shelf that is not the same as this shelf that you can dock anywhere in the Maya interface. And how you reveal that is you make sure that the modeling toolkit is turned on. And then down here in the modeling toolkit, you drag these dots up. So you click and drag, and that reveals the custom shelf. Now, I don't like the modeling toolkit to be visible at all because I don't really use a lot of the tools in there. I use my shelf and my own tools, and I put everything I need in the custom shelf, which I find a lot more useful. You can make this taller if you want as well, and you can undock it and drag it out and put it wherever you want. My wife puts it over here. I've seen people you know, drag it out this way. You can do a bunch of different stuff. It's really handy. This isn't a tutorial about the shelf, so if you would like a full tutorial on how to use this shelf, you can come up here and click in the top right-hand corner of your screen right now. I've got a whole video about this shelf. What we're talking about today is that there is a bug in this shelf that is super annoying, and it's been there the entire time that the shelf has existed, and I'll show you what that bug is if you're not familiar with it. Okay, so the issue is after you've positioned the shelf and scaled it the way that you want and you're happy with the way that it looks, you would want this to remember this every time you restart Maya so you don't have to redo that every time. So now watch what happens when I close Maya. So I'm going to click close and don't save. And now I'm just going to reopen it. Okay, and Maya's open and you can see the bug. See how it has partially revealed this annoying part of the modeling toolkit? And then you have to drag this up again every time. And so I like to have my custom shelf docked here and just do like a split kind of like this. So when I model stuff, I can have the channel box open here and see what's going on with the settings in there. And then I can have all my buttons here that I like to use. Now, when I restart, I get this. See, every time I restart my, I have to go blop and push that up. And that is just super annoying to me. I know some people have actually messaged me about this. How do I fix it? And the answer was, it is a bug in Maya, but I have a fix. So let's look at that now. So to fix this, we need to put a little hack into the user setup file. And the user setup file can be found in C users, your username, documents, Maya, your version of Maya 2022 in this case, prefs scripts. And you want to create a file if it doesn't already exist here called little user with a capital S setup.mel and open that in the text editor of your choice. I'm going to use Notepad because that's what I like to use. And you'll see in my user setup file, I've got a bunch of stuff because I'm doing a bunch of tricks to make my Maya work the way that I like it. But yours might just be empty. So just create some empty space up at the top here. doesn't matter if you have some stuff or not. And we're going to paste some code right here to fix the bug. And the code that you're going to want to paste is this little procedure that I wrote here. And just copy that. And I'll put this in the description so you don't have to type it all out by hand because it'll take a while. So you can just go to the description, copy, paste it, and then go back to our user setup file. And we will paste that in there. So there it is. And then we'll just go save. And now we will just close Maya. And then we will open up Maya again. And boom, fixed. There you go. So every time I open up Maya now, the shelf will be maximized. So if you want that, to be how your Maya works, then just copy paste that code into the user setup file and you're all good. Very cool. I'm super happy that we finally found a fix for this super annoying bug. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you liked this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have an incredible day.